So, Ryan Garcia beats Luke Campbell in round seven with a wicked left hook to the liver. Body shot, whatever you want to call it. Um, after being knocked down hard in round two, by the way. But um, that shot I was up there with Bernard Hopkins, Oscar De Loria, Roy Jones Jr. against Virgil L. That's one of the great left hooks we've seen in many a year. Now, first round was wasn't really a feeling out round, you know. Ryan Garcia tends to box a bit flat for the normal head movement. Um, seems to put too much into every shot. Um, but. It was a good round and the speed difference was there for everyone to see. And the speed really dictated the pace of the fight. Um Luke Jamble was Luke Luke Jamble. I was gonna say Jab and Campbell and Luke Campbell was jabbing to the body um quite well in the fight and and Trying to set on set the left hand over the top, and in the second round, he caught him with a peach of a shot. And credit to Ryan Garcia, you know, he got up pretty quick from it, but his legs weren't shot. He looked good, he looked composed after he got knocked down, and he got through the first um, crisis of his career, you know. And three to six was. The um resumed normal, should we say, um, with Garcia's speed dictating a fight. Um, I thought Luke Campbell was at times too cautious. But then again, if you just dive in yourself in a front corner, as you open and you have to counters on the hand speed, just work. if the hand speed was similar, I think Luke Campbell would have opted to trade more, but it just wasn't an option. Um, the um, the scorecards were 57. 56, no, sorry, and this is a sticking point we have, um, it was 58-55 on two cards and 58-56 on one, use my sticking point, um, you can say whatever, you can say, you can, this is disregarded by the result, but how the hell can one of the judges score the second round 10-9 when it was a clear knockdown? 10-9 in a knockdown round is only given if you knock someone down and they come back and give you a, a battering or if it's knockdowns for each guys. So for 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 an example, um Joshua Klitschko um round five was really a 10-9 round, you know. He um even though he put Klitschko down, Klitschko came back and really put it on him. But yeah, even that situation, or if both guys get knocked down, and then you judge it like a normal round because they're on a level playing field, I guess. But um, the hand speed difference really told, but we did see weaknesses from Garcia. Yes, he's still only twenty one and oh, yes, he's still twenty two years old. But the weaknesses um pulls back in straight lines with his chin in the air. Um. Flat footed, um, not great at moving. He, he's not the best at moving. He just stalks his opponents. Um, but the thing is, out of all these flaws, the major asset of his hand speed and power. Really, um, takes away from his flaws and, and makes his opponents think about that too much. Like Luke Campbell last night was overly cautious. So he couldn't get his own work off, but I was impressed with Jab the Body. But I think we can say that Luke Campbell's performance against Lomachenko was better than it was against Ryan Garcia. I'm not saying that Luke Campbell didn't turn up, but I felt we didn't see the best of him last night. Um, but I also think we didn't see the best of Ryan Garcia, or perhaps that's really the step of, like, like I was saying before the fight. 
Garcia is a precocious talent, but the step up from Fonseca and Dunot Campbell was levels and levels apart, and that was the only concern coming into the fight. Not not the fact that he's lack of talent because he is he's probably the biggest talent in the sport we have today. Um, but the um. What shines away from his talent is his um obviously his Instagram followers, his um social media does really well. So when people think oh is he never one of these social media boxers, you know, but he's not, he had a vast amateur career, I think he had two hundred and seven fights in his amateur career. Um So he's not one of these Instagram fighters, he's a legit boxer, but um I feel like the way he acts he's very um he's a fake character. You know, all that crying and dancing, all that crying and jumping about at the end of the fight. I don't want to touch on that. Um, Luke Campbell is not a be all and end all. Beating Luke Campbell doesn't make you number one in the division. Beating Luke Campbell last night doesn't give you a belt. What I'm trying to say is, Luke, Luke Campbell, all Luke Campbell was was a stepping stone last night. I feel sad to say that because. He's the best, he's probably, what he'll go down as one of the best British fighters never to win a world title. But, um, what's, what, what's we seen as now? We've seen as a step and so on. Um, I have used the word gatekeeper, maybe I'm wrong, but you could say he's turned into a sort of a gatekeeper. Um, whatever you think of that, maybe what, is what different to what I think. But we'll see, you know. Um, but... Luke Campbell is not the be all and end all, and I think at the end of the fight, when when Garcia was jumping, diving about, pretending to cry, you know, it's all it's all an act. But I do, but I, but I, but I don't know whether that's outright acting or or relief. Now, if it is relief, that shows that there's a lack of self belief there. Um. Maybe it's confidence issues, I don't know. Maybe I'm going too deep psychologically. But if it is what it is, yeah, there's a lack of confidence and those relief beating Luke Campbell. Um, but yeah, he's got a lot of stuff to work on. But like I said, he's 22. He's got years and years left in the game. Yeah. Um, I think that you, uh, based on the current situation, you've got Tiafimo Lopez. Lomachenko, and Tank Davis, super fair or fair, super fair or lightweight. They have a three in the division of the moment. Regardless of what you think of Lomachenko, I think Lomachenko should move down personally. Um, but I mean, you got the second tier, like, it's a definitive top five for me. But like, you go the fourth and fifth, which is Ryan Garcia and um, Haney in, a, in any order. Um, but I think Ryan Garcia does beat Devin Haney. Um, Devin Haney, you know, regardless what you think, if he has a belt or not, he is a WBC title. And, like I said, regardless what you think, if Ryan Garcia wins, he's viewed as a world champion for beating Haney. Um, because even though people like to call him email champ, I'm pretty sure if Ryan Garcia beat him, the views would change. So, yeah, but it was a good performance by Ryan Garcia. Um, the speed, the speed, the power speed tells a difference. And I really, um, we don't know if Haney's chin hasn't been properly tested yet. And I wonder if he could take the sh shots that Luke Campbell took for the most part last night. But, but the thing with Ryan Garcia is... He is an, he relies on an opponent's mistakes rather than setting up his um his own work. So that's the issue. But yeah guys, that's the end of the video. Not too much to say about it. Um but the main points I want to make is that yeah, he's got he's still got improvements to make, but it was a good performance credit was there. We beat a gold medalist that was never stopped before. So um Luke Campbell, will you tell you now, um, when you've been to peaks like Luke Campbell, 
winning winning world amateur championships and winning Olympic gold medals. Does he have a mental fortitude? Uh, or perhaps a ha I don't want to say hunger, but does he have a desire to drop down levels, have good domestic fights? When because I think tennis and one not eliminated, and he could fight tennis and take rest spot because I think tennis and. Tennyson is there to be beat by good operators and Luke Campbell is a good operator. You know he's lost two of his last two fights, so it's up to you what you want to think, but does he have a thought to come up with a few ties that we don't blame him because he's earned good money in his career and he's been to good heights. So let me know what you think, guys. Um considering I don't like Ryan Garcia one bit, I think that was a pretty good analysis. So take care guys, peace.